What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Planet Zoo. Now last time we left off, we just finished the Arctic Pack's first scenario here with the Goodwin Arctic Research Park. If you guys didn't see that, that was actually part of a separate series here on the channel. So if you guys want to go see that, then be sure to go check the channel for the Arctic Pack series. But for this series, we're going to be moving on to the Great Caldera Safari Park. Built on the site of a long dormant volcano, Great Caldera Safari Park is Bernard Goodwin's ode to safaris, featuring animals from all over Africa which happily roam their expansive habitats. The park is currently in a state of development, with some attractions only half complete. Are you the right person to take them over the finish line? Let's see if I am, and let's start a new scenario here. With this cool safari park, so this is going to be interesting. I wonder how this is going to be interpreted, like, are we going to have like huge habitats that like humans like have to ride through instead of like small little enclosures that humans can like look around and stuff like that you know i guess it would be like a like you know like a safari maybe we have to ride like vehicles to see the animals that'd be interesting if that's the case oh wow look at how expansive this is <laughs> i'll get straight to it shall i this is our great caldera safari park it's been quite a small operation until now, but we've just been donated some land. And so, like my waistline at Thanksgiving, <laughs> we're gonna expand. Nice. And I think the best way to finance that expansion is by finishing off our 4x4 adventure tour track ride. It'll be a wonderful way to let people safely see wild animals really up close. Although, if you've ever had a mandrel sit on your windshield during one, sometimes it's a little too up close. Oh, God. Yeah. But the main focus of the sanctuary will be breeding and releasing animals of all kinds back into the wild. And as it's a sanctuary, we'll also have to take in animals sometimes. Does that all sound simple? Good, because there's more. We also need to make sure we educate our guests and achieve a very high conservation rating. Well, that's all. Off you go. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. So we're supposed to get a very high conservation rating on this one. And of course, like I suspected, as we saw right there from Bernard, these, uh, what are they called? Something 4x4s? They were like vehicles. Yeah, here they are, right here. I can get a better look at them. Yeah, look at that. How many people can ride that thing? Like, 12? Maybe, maybe less counting the driver, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, tons of people could ride these little little rides that, that go through these habitats. I saw it earlier. Where is it? Oh, how do I change my camera angle? We're at a uh, weird setting right now. Oh, here you go. Okay, I fixed it. But yeah, oh, here you go. Yeah, see, here's the, the, the track. And you go into the enclosure and you get a good view of the giraffe. Look at that. We've got giraffe. What is this, like gazelles or something like that? What is this thing? Uh, it's a springbok. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I guess that's what this thing is, huh? <laughs> a little bit more. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, look at this thing. Super duper detailed and stuff. Let's look at the giraffes. We haven't had uh, giraffes in a while since like the tutorial stage or something like that, right? Yeah, look at that big old guy. I'm actually surprised there's no trees here. Well, there are bushes, but... Oh, there's trees over there. Okay, just not trees in this general area right here, though. All right, that's interesting. But uh, we do have some alerts going on right now. So I do need a workshop and staff rooms and stuff. So yeah, definitely want to take care of that, you guys. As well as, uh, I guess, I guess we could pause right now, temporarily. You know what, let's just let it keep going. That way we could, uh, have the part just kind of continue on in the background. But I want to look at the objectives that we have to do for this park. So, bronze. Release one of any habitat species into the wild. That's going to be easy. Of course, uh, Bernard said just a moment ago that we need to get a good, uh, conservation rating. I wonder what that is. Uh, increase education rating to 1.2 stars. I don't see anything. Conservation ratings. Why is there, though? I assume it would be for gold, then, huh? Oh, yeah, gold. Increased conservation rating to 4.5 stars, so we, yeah, that's a, whew, that's gonna be tough. I don't know what our conservation rating was on the previous map in the Arctic pack, because we did a lot of good conservation stuff there, you guys. But the other bronze stuff, uh, build a transport ride with a length of at least 2297 feet. Don't have that yet. Increase uh, education rating to 1.2 stars. It's currently at 1.0, so we can get that easily. Uh, have at least 1,400 guests in the zoo. We currently have 1,326, so that's not gonna be too bad. Oh, it says right there, too. <laughs> And uh, more attractive animals attract more guests. Yeah, we know about that. And silver, release four of any habitat species into the wild. Breed six new habitat animals of different species. Increase education rating to 1.7 stars. So a little bit more than the 1.2 we have to get for bronze. 
Adopt and place two new cheetahs. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. I wonder if they're going to gift them to us or if we actually do have to get them from the animal uh, market, you guys. Because uh, remember last time we had to do like uh, adopt and place down like the, the Arctic wolves and the polar bear and stuff like that in the Arctic pack. They just gave them to us. So I wonder if we actually have to get them from the animal market this time. And then, of course, for gold, release 11 of any habitat species into the wild, breed 8 new habitat animals of different species, increase education rating to 2.2 stars, increase conservation rating to 4.5 stars, as we saw earlier, adopt and place 2 new West African lions, whoa, and have at least 2,600 guests in the zoo. Woo! That's going to be a lot, you guys, but we're starting out at 1,300, so... It's not going to be, uh, not going to be too hard when we already have a bunch of people in the park as is, right? And this is, yeah, this isn't, like, starting, uh, basically from scratch or anything like that. We already have a big enclosure over here. We even have a ride. Is this even finished? Oh, it's not. Okay, yeah, just, it just stops right here. Okay. Well, that explains why no one's riding it and we currently don't have anything for the, uh, little transport ride thing with at least a length of 2297 feet. We don't have that done just yet, uh, because I thought this would have been done, but it's not yet. <laughs> anyway, this might as well turn our camera light on yep there you go so we could see a little bit better whenever it's nighttime i don't know if there's any gamma but or gamma settings that i could do like on the fly like i could do an arc survival evolve i guess i could check that real quick just to kind of help us out so i don't have to brighten video every now and then yeah i don't think there's anything uh like an on the fly gamma change sort of meme i don't think so so that kind of sucks and i don't know if there's like a console i could type in uh, commands or anything like that either so i guess i'll just have to brighten the video out there with the fact you got big old elephants over here and some zebras too Ooh, and I just saw the keeper there scooping up a heckin' giant poop, so golly, this place is probably going to be dirty super duper quickly, you guys. Sheesh. More zebras? Is that just it over here? Yeah, elephants and zebras. Oh, here's a track. Yeah. Is this connected to the, uh... Where is this? Oh, is, yeah, I guess this is just a different, uh, thing. Yeah, look at this. Here's a track. Oh, it goes under... Oh, it goes underground. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was incomplete. Because I saw it here, and then I saw it over here. I thought I had to connect them right there, but no, it goes underground. Interesting. And where does this go? Oh, I guess this is, yeah, okay, this is just the same ride. It just kind of, I guess you could have different stations. That's cool. So it's going to be both a transport as well as like a, like a, like a, like a way to view the creatures. I almost just said dinosaurs right there. Now, where does this go? So here it ends right there. Where to end over here? We could probably just connect it up like right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, it like ends like right here. So if we do add some stuff over here, we could, of course, have it, like, go, like, right here, and then maybe wiggle around a bit, and then, boom, connect up right there. Then we can kind of build around that, I suppose. You know, we might, as, might as well do that right now. Might as well do that right now, actually, and get that uh, get that one bronze objective done, you guys. But we do still have uh, stuff going on. Yeah, I need a workshop, so I might as well... Oh, God, just spawned in a workshop right there. I could just easily place down. <laughs> okay, well, let's actually get a good view of... Uh, how would I do that? Where is it? Buildings? Let's see. All facilities? No. Staff facilities. Where are the staff facilities at? Okay, so we have some staff facilities there. And some over here. So it seems like this is the bigger staff area. So, ooh. I have to wait for it to adjust. And here we go. Yeah, look at this. This is a big, like, staff area over here, you guys. Nice. So let's see. That's a research thing. There's a keeper hut. There's a vet place. There's a staff room. Here's a workshop. What? I need a workshop. Here's a workshop right here. Oh, this animal trading. Whoops. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a hammer. This is a wrench. Okay, that's that's how you differentiate them. Uh, and then here's quarantine. So I get, we could probably slip something in, like, right here, unless that's, like, the edge of the map. And there's a generator right there. That's awesome, you guys. So, yeah, we might be able to slip something in, like... Oh, wait, can I not move this? Oh, I can't move that, because there's a, there's a bush there. I don't want to move it, but... I guess I could move this tree, then, I suppose, huh? Yeah, I'll move this tree over. There you go. Move it, like, right here. And then I'll place a building, like, right here. That's going to be the workshop, so... What is the theme that we have going on here? It's kind of like a weird... Like wood or something like that. I wonder if we have pre-made. Oh, af oh yeah. There's like an African theme going on right now, you guys. So we got like an African bin, African bench, another African bench that uh, has like a, a backing to it. And then here's transport. Oh, what was it called again? Four by four adventure tour. That's what it's called. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I was trying to remember earlier. Let's see. Let's go to staff room or staff facilities workshop. There it is, right there. And here is right here the African themed workshop. I suppose uh, we could slip it in right here, you guys. Let's do it. And that way it kind of fits in with the theme. So there you go. Sure. All right, nice. Is there a tree in the middle? Oh, yep. That tree is kind of in the middle. So might as well move that right now. So there you go. And now we've got the workshop here, you guys. Nice. All right. I wonder if we have uh, any staff, whatever you call them, uh, work groups. I have to. What color is this? Oh, it's this one, right? No, it's this one. Okay, it's that one. Okay. Now let's connect it up. There you go. Nice. All right. But I wonder if I have any uh, 
staff work whatever. <laughs> I wonder if I have any of those work zone. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. So let's see. What is the work zone for this? That way I can add it to the uh uh, food Court Lake. Okay, so Food Court Lake, that's where this one belongs. Oh, I guess if anything, I could have just gone over here to Work Zones, and then I uh, clicked on one, I think, right? Like, Edit Work Zone, yeah. Oh, man, look at that! Very clearly, like, defined lines and stuff here, you guys. Nice, let's add that now to the Work Zone. And, uh, now the Workshop has been added to the Work Zone, so that's great, you guys. Nice. Oh, yeah, look at this Food Court. Wow. I could not imagine, and here's a, here's an even even like a stop for the 4x4 transport tour or adventure tour or whatever it's called. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Two pip shot waters like right next to each other. Makes sense considering how popular it was on the last map we had here in the mainline uh, Planet Zoo series, guys. And uh, two, oh wait, no, one uh, Monsieur Fritz. And what is this? Juice? Yeah, it's the juice, pip shot juice. Alright, that's cool. No actual sign saying the name of the place though, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll add that in the future if I need to. Pizza place there and gulpy slush it looks like right there, so that's awesome. I assume uh, we had bathrooms and stuff and uh, st stuff and stuff there too, but now I'm kind of thinking about uh, editing the transport ride. Where would I do that? Let's see. I guess maybe go to the station. Is that where we do it, or can I even do it from here? Oh, here we go. Edit track. Okay, so that's great. Start test. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. So maybe my. Uh... Oh wait, which part is this? Oh yeah. Okay, this is the other part. But uh, maybe my experience in Planet Coaster will help out here, you guys. Although that's not really saying much, right? <laughs> let's make this, uh, let's make this, I don't know, like, each each part of the track can be about 50 feet. So there you go. So let's just, uh, let's just connect it up like that. Maybe even make it, yeah, this is very Planet Zoo, or Planet Coaster-esque. This is literally Planet Zoo right now. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's keep close to this lake here. That way we have a pretty, pretty good view. Maybe even go straight right here. A few, there you go, a few tracks. And then where does it go from here? Okay, so it goes there, so maybe I'll make it uh, curve a little bit inwards. Oh, like this. Then uh, I'll make it go straight. Then I'll make it curve. Then I'll make it curve a little bit more. That way we can kind of have a like fancy curve here, you guys. There you go. And then we can just click this to auto. Is it because of that tree that I can't uh, auto finish that? Maybe. Let me move that tree. <laughs> Alright, let's edit the track. And can we auto? Yep, it was because that tree. There we go. All right. Looks like we have the track finished here, you guys. Let's say here. Uh, I guess I guess we have to actually open it or something like that for that to to work. But let's start the test now. Oh, oh, never mind. There it is, right there. Okay, I guess I just had to get out of the editor thing for it to to register. But there we go. Build a transport ride with a, a length of at least twenty-two ninety-seven feet. Does it say what it is here? It should. Judging by uh, oh twenty-four twenty-nine. So yeah, we're just over that by like what two hundred feet. Or uh, about 120-ish feet, 130 feet, feet right there, so that's not bad. Now we do have to start this, just like in Planet Coaster, you can't, uh, can't actually open up a- Well, you probably could, right? Oh, you can! Oh, God! <laughs> but in Planet Coaster, you can't uh, open up, like, a roller coaster without uh, testing it first, but... We might as well test it out by actually riding it here, you guys. So, let's go to a seat. Driver's seat. Uh, interest. I can change the seat from here, right? So, train, let's go to seat. Let's, like, sit towards the back, like this. Like in the middle. Yeah, like this. This is pretty good. Nice. This is a pretty good view here, you guys. Noise. Show the test results on camera. Oh, that's pretty good. It's not too intrusive. So we're going about 11 miles an hour right now. Average speed, 5. Oh, God. Look at that. There's a zebra right there. Now, what's to stop these creatures from getting in the path? I guess nothing, huh? So I guess I could block the path. And now we're going underwater. Underground. <laughs> underground like I saw earlier. So that's cool. Let's look this way, though. I feel like there's going to be more creatures if we look this way. Is that the food court that we just saw, or what is- Oh, there's an elephant there in the almost rear view area. What if we could put there in the water? Oh, there's anything in there. Oh, there are things in there. What are those? I couldn't really see what they were. Which I guess is a bad thing, considering, uh, oh yeah, here's another stop right here, though. That sucks. We have to wait for this guy to go. And there's a mechanic right there, too. Nice. He's inspecting it. Make sure it's not going to break down or anything like that. Wait, there's even, like, pink fuzzy dice on the, uh, on, on the windshield there. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, how can I... Can I speed this up by doing... Yep, there you go. Okay, so let's speed this up. Just so we can go. As it's just, you know, testing here and waiting for people to get on. But, uh, of course no one can get on because it's literally just a test. But here we are. Is this the outside before, uh, yeah, this is before we even add anything right now. So, yeah, we can skip this too. Actually, yeah. Let's go normal speed because here's the, uh, the, oh. I didn't do anything right there and our education rating went up to 1.2. <laughs> but, yeah, see, yeah, I wanted to have this open 
Just so we could look over here and see some creatures near the water and stuff. Maybe even see over here and see whatever else we put over here. I don't know, like cheetahs or whatever. Uh, West African lion, like, like we saw earlier. Max speed is 13 miles an hour thus far. Duration 227 seconds. And uh, the length is 2589 feet. It was like 2400 just a moment ago. Huh, I don't know why it went up right there, you guys. It went up like 100 extra feet. That's interesting. But yeah, now we're getting closer to the, uh, the, like the giraffes and stuff like that. Yeah, you can see giraffes in the background there. Nice. What is this? There's like an underground area there. Ooh, that's clever. Yeah, building underground to make paths. I wonder if we were able to do that. I'm pretty sure we were able to do that previously. Look at that. These, these fences are, uh, damaged. I'm pretty sure we were able to do that previously and I just never knew about it. Or, I'm like, I guess I knew about it, but I just never did it. Yeah, you can see the giraffes and stuff there in the background. Really cool. You can see a keeper, like, vacuuming up a bunch of poop and stuff. And even those, uh, those other creatures that I forgot their name of. <laughs> and, uh, is this another? Yep, there's another stop right here. That's cool. And, yeah, a lot of the, uh, the walkways and stuff are elevated. So, yeah, it's similar to what we had on, like, the second tutorial map or whatever. Oh, was that a horn? What was that music? I don't know. Oh, look at that. There's, like, a decorative jeep right there and even, like, a mural of... Uh, a giraffe. Oh, wait, what in the world? Why are we not, like... Oh, here we go. I was wondering, like, why we weren't physically stopping right there. <laughs> There's, like, a tent right there. Is that a heater? I don't know if that's a heater there by the Jeep's, like, tire. There's, like, a mur mural right there with, like, a cheetah and a, a giraffe and stuff. I think we're about to come full circle here in just a moment, you guys. I think there's another stop, like, right ahead. Like, literally, like, right here. Or, uh, oh, oh, no, yeah, never mind. It takes us back into the dry. Yeah, here we go. No, this is the, uh, elephant and the zebra area. Yeah, nice. Look at that. And even, uh, even the pathways over there are slightly elevated by, like, a few feet. Not quite as elevated as the ones we just went under, but, uh, still elevated nonetheless. So, yeah, maybe in the future, all the paths are going to be elevated for future parks and stuff. It does give you a lot more flexibility and freedom and stuff like that, you know. And I even got some comments from you guys saying that it, I should do it more often just because it adds like hard shelter rating and stuff like that too. And of course, better visibility, like right here, we have a, a path going above. And uh, of course, these rides right here will also give you good visibility. Just, you know, if we're going off, uh, yeah, we could probably stop right now. I think this is the stop that uh, we circled around at. Yeah, 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 okay. So we can stop the test now and we can open it. So, how do I do that from here? Oh, oh, I guess it's already open. Okay, so that's good. All right, so there are two stations right there, and of course, I guess we could add a third over here if we want to, but then we're just going to have that open for right now, uh, as the park has not really expanded over there. Uh, but yeah, I assume these uh, these rides over here also give you uh, visibility rating. I wonder where we could see that. Can we see that from here? Maybe. Yeah, if, if that was a thing here, I probably would have figured it out by now, and I'm not seeing it, you guys. Negative impact on guests. A lot of trash over there. Are there trash cans on this map? Well, there are, No, that's a donate. Oh, yeah, I guess you, if anything, you could just put donation bins anywhere. But at the same time, you need to put trash bins over here, too. Because this place is getting messy. We're already down about 100 people in the park right now, you guys. That is not good. So let's go to African bin. Which one do I like better? The circular one that kind of looks like a vase? Or the square one that has, like, the, the, the like thatch and stuff like that? Ooh. I don't know. Maybe I'll have both. Maybe I'll have, like, a mixture of them. I guess I'll put them under the, the street light there. Maybe other every other street light I'll put a, uh, a trash can there. So, let's do another one on this one. And, oh, can I not do it right there? Oh, there we go. And, yeah, there is a lot of trash here, you guys. Let's definitely want to place those down because that is going to bring down our guest, like, welfare and stuff like that, you know? And they're going to complain about how dirty it is here. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, there you go. Although, I don't know if we have any objectives to specifically get guest happiness to a certain level. I don't remember reading that just a moment ago. And there's a trash can right there. Yeah, we didn't have any trash cans over here on this little 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 pathway over there, so that was kind of weird. But yeah, we have some trash cans over there, though, so that's good. But yeah, definitely want to check that every now and then to make sure we have, uh, you know, sufficient, like, trash can coverage to make sure we don't have any negative effects going on with our guests. And yeah, look at this. Another, uh, like, food court area over here, you guys. Very, very cool. It's, like, in the middle of the heckin' habitats, which is crazy. <laughs> and there's even, like, a viewing area here, too, with, like, picnic tables. Really cool. Like, look at this. You can see the, the, the giraffes and stuff from over there. You can see whatever else we'll put over here in the future. Really awesome stuff, you guys. All right. Who's in the park right now? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but it's this guy right here. Look at him. And, uh, he spotted a hyena. Ooh. I don't think we've seen them yet, you guys, in the park. Oh, that's what was in this enclosure we didn't get a good look of. Yeah. So where are they at? 
That's a toy. Might be hiding, you guys. There's a uh, keeper coming into here. Oh, oh, here they are. Here they are. I see him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Yeah, they're hiding. <laughs> you can even hear them laughing. Doing their little hyena laugh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, yeah, I guess if anything, we can go to the zoo. We can go to animals and see what all we have here. Yeah, we have elephants. We saw that. African wild dog. Where are they at? Wait, these might be the creatures we saw earlier, or at least saw a glimpse of. Oh, yeah, look at these guys swimming in the water. Doggy paddling. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyhow, there's like a big feeder right there. And stuff. Oh, yeah, that was because, yeah, this is like right next to the pathway. So, yeah, th these were the African wild dogs that we saw. A uh, short glimpse of while we're riding the ride there. So, that's awesome. And uh, what else do we have here? So, we have elephants, African wild dog. Yeah, we have exhibits here, I guess, huh? Where are they at? Oh, here they are. Yeah, look at this. Pretty good, like, 360-degree view right here, you guys. And even room for us to add another, maybe... Oh, man, hold on. How do I go down? Oh, here you go. Maybe... Uh, oh, I think I have to change the camera to this, right? Yeah, 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 here we go. <laughs> we could add another one right here, another one right here. And, like, if anything, uh, I'll just have to get rid of these, like, wood lot. Oh, I can't, though. This is part of the, the, like, default part of the map, so that sucks. But we have another room right here for another exhibit. Even some cool little giraffe decoratives over here. Really cool. Although, I, I would never get into that much detail, with, like, with decorations. Oh, God! Oh, man, I thought the game was going to crash right there. Sheesh. You know, I might as well, I might as well do a save real quick. Just to, uh, be safe. That, uh, <laughs> pun intended. Alright, there you go. Noise. Well, let's go back to our objectives now, you guys. Release one of any habitat species into the wild. I guess, yeah, while we're looking at the, uh, the list over here, we can see if there are any, like, super duper old creatures that we could release into the wild. Saw the zebras. Saw the giraffes. Uh, hyenas, we saw them earlier. Springbok, saw them. Is there any- oh, I guess that's it. Okay, we don't have any, uh, cheetahs. We don't have any lions yet. Of course, we'll add those here in the future. And, of course, more exhibit animals as well. So that's going to be great. Let's go to maturity. Let's go to species here as well. Now, what is the oldest thing? Nothing over here is, like, particularly old. Everything here seems really young or completely fine. This is even a baby right here. Look at this thing. It's a juvenile. Oh, look at that Oh, my God! These things are... Oh, jeez. I don't know why it's stuttering so much lately. <laughs> it's stuttering so much because of how cute these guys are. Oh, my God. It's like little Bambi or something. Oh, my gosh. Look at the thing! The skinny little legs and everything. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this creature is, but it's the cutest thing in the universe. Let's read about it, though. Uh, least concern. Okay, so that's good. 2 million to 2.5 million in the wild. That's good. Uh, I wonder if we have any research already done on... Oh, look at that! We already have some! Okay, so two fun facts that we'd read about the spring box. Spring box are so named because they will often jump up to 2 meters into the air, especially during mating season. This jumping behavior is known as pronking. <laughs> Fun fact number two, springboks are incredibly fast. They can run up to 60 miles an hour. Wow. Very, very interesting stuff right there, you guys. What about the giraffe? Do we have any? Oh, look at this thing. Yeah, we saw it earlier in the series that they like sleep in a big ball like that. So that's really cool. Uh, what about the Oh, endangered 8,500 population in a while. That sucks. That's not that good. Oh, man, did you guys see that thing run in there? That was fast in the background. You can barely see it, though. Uh, compatible, yeah, this is going to be great for this, though. There are a lot of compatible species with all these creatures, you guys, so we don't have to have, like, a, a singular enclosure for each species like we did, uh, like, for certain species, you know? But four fun facts here. We could read about the giraffe. Fun fact number one, the giraffe is the tallest animal in the world. That makes sense. <laughs> it's got that big old neck. Fun fact number two, the tongue of a giraffe is 18 inches long and prehensile. I don't know what that means. Let's see what that means. Prehensile. Able to seize, grasp, or hold, especially by wrapping around an object. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, footage of giraffes, like, heckin' grabbing leaves with their tongues, so that's, that makes sense. Fun fact number three, male giraffes fight viciously by swinging their necks and horned heads into each other to win the right to mate with females. Fun fact number four, the skin of the giraffe secretes chemicals that repels parasites and gives giraffes a distinctive smell. Ooh, hopefully that's a good smell, right? <laughs> Although, if it's going to be repelling uh, parasites and stuff like that, it probably doesn't smell too good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go back to the objectives here. Oh, look, we can't do this one right here, because I don't want to release any... T oh, well, then again, yeah, they're... We don't have to necessarily release heckin' elderly creatures into the wild. What if we had a lot of something? Yeah, spring... Yeah, we, we can get rid of a springbok. And we have a lot of females, I assume, just like many other creatures. You could have a ton of females and then only one male, so 
You know what? What about this one? Pretty good size. Longevity is not the best, but pretty good fertility and pretty good immunity. Let's let's do this one. I'm like, oh, it's only one one star conservation status. Whatever. Everything else is fine though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of this one. There you go. Release that one out into the wild, and we got that one done right there. You guys, nice. We have 1,300 people in the park right now, which is awesome. So uh, we have to get that number up by, of course, getting more attractive uh, creatures and stuff like that. And one way of uh, doing that pretty easily is. Keepers don't attend this in a while. Times this last visit hasn't even said. Every month, yeah. Vet every every three months and every three months for the vet and mechanic. That's what I always do. But yeah, they haven't come here for a while, so we definitely want them to come over here, you guys. So, let's actually call them over. So, that would be Keeper, right? Yeah, Keeper. Call a Keeper over. How many do we have, though? If we don't have too many of them, it will definitely make sense to, uh, to hire another one, you guys. We have nine. I'm going to get a tenth. I'm going to get a tenth. And I'm going to figure out what... Oh, God. Where do I... Oh, here, here's the path. There we go. There's a, here's, there's a new keeper right there. Noise. And they're going into the place. That's great. But what is this place a part of? Uh, work zone-wise. Can I see that on here? I think so. Okay, so entrance area is this big one right here. So we'll have to add that new keeper to the entrance area. So let's do that. Wherever he is. Uh, secondary area. No work. Oh, well, some of these have no work zone. So I suppose... Oh, man. Yeah, there's a one star here and another one star right there. Did I accidentally hire two of them? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, let's definitely give them some training just because everyone else is five stars, which is awesome. But let's give you entrance area here. There you go, entrance area and entrance area. Because that's like where every creature is. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that's going to be fine, right? Animal stressed. What is that for, huh? Is that because stress? Let's go to environment. Hard shelter is good. Oh man, what in the world? Not enough short grass. Huh, okay, well, let's fix that, you guys. I wonder if that... <laughs> I doubt that's the reason why, but... We can add a little bit more short grass and get rid of some of the long grass and it'll be fine. What about the giraffes? Are they fine if, uh... Yeah, they'd be fine with more short grass. That's not that big of a deal, but... Oh, welfare stressed. I wonder why. Rubbing pillar isn't that good. Yeah, we can give them another toy, because they're, they're, they're kind of, like, not liking the rubber pillar anymore. It's getting old, so... We can definitely get something else there to help them out with that. Social's not that good. Severe social welfare that be from yeah just stress just stressed and trying to hide is this one way it is one way i think yeah this is one way glass so if it's stressed and trying to hide it it just needs to go into the uh to the hard shelter i believe right that's what we learned yeah look at all this stuff over here you guys holy heck i assume yeah look at that you just see them like jumping over the stuff that's awesome i see you jumping again i don't know they're like glitched inside of each other Oh, yeah. oh my god, look at the baby right there, jeez! Oh, and the, the adult just jumped right there too, nice. Alright, well, what were we doing just a moment ago? I don't know. Some of the enrichment things over here are getting kind of old, and I believe the uh, giraffes are not liking them as well, like, they're getting kind of old for the giraffes too, so. Let's look at the enrichment stuff, so yeah. The rubbing pillar is getting kind of old, so we can get rid of that one and replace it with something else. So, where was that again? Rubbing pillar was over here, yeah. So, they're kind of not liking that anymore. Uh, let's see if we have anything good for them now. Let's go down to habitat. Let's put the giraffe. There you go. And let's look at any... Was that a toy enrichment, I think? Let me see. Yeah, toy enrichment. So let's find something else. So suspended high grazing feeder. That is a feeder, but uh, toys... Sprinkler? I guess we can get him some sprinklers. It'll make sense here in the hot, hot area. So we can give him a sprinkler there. And a sprinkler over here. And that'll be... 62... Give him a third, 65. Yeah, see, it's not going. It's not. It's not like upping that as much for each sprinkler. But of course, we can get more here in the future by doing uh, vet researches for these guys. So I may actually do that. Let's actually get our vets to research these guys. There we go, vet research. We have three vets right now. That's awesome. A little bit of research on all the creatures right now. So that's great. A lot of research on the plain zebra. That's great. And even the uh, the reticulated gra giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> Might as well finish those up. And what about the, uh, oh yeah, what about the Z's and stuff? I should probably look into what these guys are susceptible to. I'm going to have at least one vet not researching that way, you know, in case anything happens, they get tend to the, uh, to the disease critters and stuff like that, right? But I guess we can keep the rubbing pillar at least for right now, even though it's not really helping out the giraffe or the spring bike quite as much. But at least now we have these sprinklers, which they seem to like thus far, you guys. That's pretty good. And, uh, speaking of sprinklers and grass and stuff like that, we do need to get rid of some of the... Longer gir uh, grass. God, I keep saying grass and giraffe, mixing them up and stuff. <laughs> we can get rid of some of the longer grass and get some shorter grass instead. 
So let's get rid of some of that and get some shorter grass there. And it looks like it's coloring it as auto paint. As like actual green grass there, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, look at that. that oh, there's the yeah, there's two rubbing pillars here. I didn't realize that, you guys. Oh god! Oh jeez, I thought the game crashed right there. <laughs> Every time that happens. Jeez. Let's see. I kinda wanna click on one of these guys so we could actually see. Yeah, they want a bunch more of that short grass right there, you guys. So we're just going to spam it over here in this big open area. Look at this. Number- Oh, God! The number is slowly going up, though, so that's good. <laughs> Every time the, the game, like, slows down ever so slightly. Like, I, I get worried that the game is about to crash. And I think it has to hit, like, 25%, it looks like. So, yeah, look at this. Adding short grass ever so slightly, and it's adding a bunch of green over here, which is actually making it stand out quite a bit, because this is, like, all sand and dirt and like, brown, tan, sandy, dirt colored. <laughs> no, we have to hit 30% on short grass, huh? So there you go. Let's add a little bit more just for good measure. Maybe hit, like, 32%. Maybe even add some of it. Oh, that's the water, though. Let's add some over here, though, under the trees. Definitely makes sense there. So 34%, that's great. All right, and I, just, I assume the giraffes are fine with the increased amount of grass, too, right? Terrain. Yep, they're fine. No problem there. All right, great. So, oh, look at the baby giraffe. Oh, my God. Oh. We did it! Nice! That track ride is proving very popular with the guests. You're really giving them a taste of Africa's wildlife. <laughs> and when the wind pleases, often a smell, too. Listen, I know there's lots more work to do here, but once you've finished, your next project will be something really challenging. Partly because I won't be around to offer advice. <laughs> I'm setting up a venture in the Arctic, which will take up all of my time. I might even get you involved in it one day. One day? I know you already got me involved. And of course, after we finish this scenario, we'll go back to the Arctic Pack and do the other scenario there, which is in Mexico, which is going to be crazy. Because, you know, Arctic Pack, Mexico, those don't really go together. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy trying to have uh, Arctic creatures in such a hotter environment compared to Norway, where we had them uh, previously. But there you go, you guys. We got that objective. And I've been looking at this baby giraffe all this time. It's so heckin' cute. Everything that's a baby-like form is like the cutest- Oh, God! It's like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Oh god, the game crashed! Whoa!